guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today's video is another thrift flip where I'm transforming some but ugly clothes into some cute trendy tops for the summer. Alright, the first clothing piece I'm transforming is this cheetah print long sleeve top. The pattern is a little wild for a plain long sleeve, so my plan is to turn it into a tie in the front cardigan. So I am starting off by cutting the sleeves into kind of a mid length. Once I was done with one side, I did the same to the other. Then I used sewing pins to hold the fabric down while I hemmed the sleeves using an invisible stitch. The shirt is ribbed so I didn't want a horizontal stitch to be seen against the vertical ribbing. An invisible stitch is a one strand of stitch which I showed in my other video. Basically what you're doing is picking up small pieces of thread on the front side of the shirt and then stitching back through the flap that you created. Again I will be linking videos on all the hand stitching techniques I used in this video. Before tying the thread, I lightly stretch the hem to make sure the stitching lays flat. And look at that beautiful sleeve. Next I cut the lettuce edge off the bottom of the top and hem the bottom of the top the same way as the sleeve. After that, I removed the buttons and the button seam using my seam ripper. Then I cut straight down the center of the top to make it open like a cardigan. Next, I am hemming the sides and making sure that there is about one and a half to two inches of space between the two flaps so it's not completely closed when you wear it. To hem the sides, I am using a back stitch. Whenever I use a back stitch, I always stitch backward on the front side of the fabric and stitch forward on the back side of the fabric. After that was done, I cut off the excess material. Then using my seam ripper, I am removing the hem that was used to hold the button. And this is going to be the top part of the straps for the tie. Now to elongate them, I am using the leftover fabric from the sleeve and cutting four equal pieces. Then I am attaching two pieces together by pinning the front sides together and sewing them together using a back stitch. Next, I am folding the fabric into thirds to match the size of the straps on the shirt. After I finish sewing them together, I am attaching them to the end of the strap. And that's the finished tie in the front top. This top turned out very cute and is now definitely more wearable. Alright, the second top I'm flipping is this light green button up collared shirt. I really like the fabric of this top, but as a button up, it's just not cute. So I decided to turn it into those puff sleeve tops that are very cute and are sold in many stores right now. First off, I am removing the sleeves from the top and then setting them off to the side. Next, I am drawing the silhouette of the body of the top. In the center of the button, I drew a 13 to 14 centimeter line on each side. Then going down around 4 to 5 centimeters, I'm marking a point on the side of the shirt. Then I connect the points to the ends of the top line, and then from the point drew a straight line down the whole shirt. Once I finished, I cut the fabric along the lines. I also cropped the bottom of the top and then set the pieces to the side. Now tackling the sleeves, I first cut the sleeve to my desired length. Then I cut the loop open and the original hem off. Next, using sewing pins to hold the fabric down, I am hemming and creating a tunnel for an elastic on the top of the sleeve. I am also hemming the bottom of the sleeve using a back stitch. Once I was done, I used a safety pin to help thread the elastic through the tunnel I created. After adjusting the scrunch to my liking, I sewed the ends and cut off the excess elastic. Next, I am creating a ruffled hem for the bottom of the sleeve. This technique is a little harder for hand sewing, so you can honestly just make the bottom the same as the top. But if you follow what I did, then this will take your top to the next level. So to start, I am folding the sleeve into four sections, and I'm marking each section on the inside of the sleeve. Next, I'm taking an elastic that I measured to fit comfortably around my arm, 
and I'm also marking it into four sections. The idea is to attach this piece of elastic, which is smaller than the size of the sleeve, to fit the actual length of the sleeve. Basically, I match the first fourth section of the elastic to the first fourth section of the sleeve. And to sew this, I am using a back stitch and sew it about half an inch above the bottom of the sleeve. Basically, what you want to do is stretch the elastic while you are sewing, and you want to make sure to pull the elastic to fit the section so you get an equal scrunch. Wait, did that even make any sense? Hopefully seeing it is clearer than my explanation. But once you finish, you'll have this really cute ruffled hem. Now moving back to the body of the top, I'm hemming the top of the front and the back pieces of the fabric using a back stitch. For the front piece, I shaped it into kind of a flat heart neckline just to make it more flattering. Next, I attach the front of the sleeve to the front diagonal of both of the body pieces. Then I turned the whole shirt inside out and sewed the arms and the front and back body pieces together using a back stitch. Lastly, I realized the top was a little too long, so I cropped it a bit more and then hemmed it like all the other times in this video. And that's the completed puff sleeve top. I am pretty proud of how it turned out, and I think it's definitely trendy. Okay, moving on to the last top. I'm transforming this plain black t-shirt into, I think it's called a milkmaid top, but it's a tank top with scrunching on the top and under the chest line. So to start, I cut the bottom hem of the top, which I will later use for the straps. Then I cut a 7 inch piece for the scrunched half of the top. And then a 6 inch piece for the bottom half of the top. These are the three pieces of fabric I will be using. First, taking the largest piece, I'm cutting the loop and I'm going to be creating the scrunch. To do this, I am stitching a loose straight stitch along the bottom of the fabric. You want it to be around half an inch above the bottom, so you're able to attach it to the bottom half of the top. The larger the stitches are, the more fabric that puffs up, so ideally, you want to make the stitches around half an inch wide. Now, the reason you want to use a straight stitch is because once you are done, you will pull the thread and the fabric will scrunch. And after adjusting, you can tie it off. And there you have the bottom scrunch. Next, I am taking the bottom piece of the top and I am attaching the front of the fabric to the front of the scrunched fabric. I used a back stitch to sew the pieces together and I made sure to make the stitches narrow and tight. Next, I am hemming and creating a tunnel to the top of the shirt. She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under Just like the other top, I am threading something through it to create a scrunch In this case, I am threading through a strap that I am making using the bottom hem of the original top To make this, I just cut off the loop Folded the strip of fabric inside out And using a back stitch, sewed down the whole strip of the fabric Once that was done, I used my man hand to carefully invert the strap so it would be seamless. Then I sewed up the sides and once again used a safety pin to thread it through the tunnel I created. Next, I hemmed the bottom of the top and the top of the back side of the shirt. Lastly, for the strap, you could wear it as a halter top, or like me, you can attach it to the back bottom half of the top. After that is completed, that is the finished milkmaid tank top. I really like how this started as a plain black tee that anyone could have in their closet, and now it's a very cool and trendy summer clothing piece. And that's the end of the video. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration to transform some of your own clothes because honestly, it's very easy and very fun to do. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you like me, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao for now.